Welcome to my completely arbitrary and totally biased unprofessional opinion on which three pulse rifles are the best in destiny post February patch or you might know it as patch 2.5.0.6.0.2.3.8.2 so let's start at the beginning, which for me is the question, how does the Clever Dragon slash Grasp of Malok fare in this new, sometimes primary, mostly sidearm meta? Well, in short, after testing my Clever Dragon for a few games, I found it just doesn't quite hit hard enough anymore. It's still okay as a pulse rifle, but high caliber rounds have lost their magic. The 18 round mag with brace frame is a little too small. And quite frankly, there are just better options on the market. So good riddance to that one pulse that everyone used because it was overpowered and was basically a year one hand cannon known to most as the god roll clever dragon see ya moving swiftly on to the top three list small disclaimer it's in no particular order and it's simply one man's opinion if you disagree that's okay if you have a better pulse rifle in your vault great use it the aforementioned list is in no particular order because i don't think there's one pulse rifle to rule them all in every circumstance right now that was literally the previous meta now different pulses dominate in different scenarios and there's quite a few that are actually viable i know it's crazy just get on with the jazz number three starting with number three i'm already breaking every rule in the book because it's a tie between two different pulses of the same class <laughs> Look, the reason it's a tie is because you could use either of these two pulses depending on which one has the better role for you. And it's between the Taken King Crucible Vendor Hawksaw and the current Crucible Vendor Year 3 equivalent, the B29 Party Favor. I could have just said Hawksaw and moved on, but I'm not even really sure it's attainable anymore. Comment section, hit me up. And that wouldn't be fair to current gen players. <laughs> You don't have a year two vendor hawks on, dude? Well, LaMayo, this video just wasted your time. F you. I could also have just said party favor, but to those veterans that still have the old hawks or, I think that old green machine outperforms the current vendor party favor. Don't get me wrong, if you don't have a decent pulse, I'd recommend the quick draw IS rodeo small bore glass half full vendor PF party favor. But in my case, I've actually got a better one, a god roll, in fact. This puppy has rodeo. Video, brace frame and counterbalance. Just look at this thing. The reticle doesn't even bounce. It's a laser beam. Stability on stability on stability. And yes, they do stack. But Jez, it's only got 18 in the mag, bro. You just said that's a problem. Yes, you are right. But this thing reloads so fast. I promise you, it's not a problem. You don't even notice that there's only 18 in the mag. It reloads so fast. I even have feeding frenzy as an option on mine, but you just don't need it. <laughs> you really don't. The old Hawksaw, on the other hand, outperforms at range, where I think the party favor shines up close because of the stability. Look, ultimately it's personal preference and probably more importantly, what's your best role? Give either of these two bad boys a go and you won't be disappointed. Number two. Moving swiftly on, number two was a surprise addition for me. When I first wrote this script, I had three pulses of the same impact for all three positions. Look, mistakes were made. Then I decided to pick up the vendor Parthian shot just in case the rumors were true and it wasn't being overhyped. Long story short, uh, it's not. While the vendor roll comes with Steady Hand IS, Rodeo, Perfect Balance, and Headseeker, fresh out of the box from the Vanguard Quartermaster, it, it lacks stability somewhat, but that's why it's on this list. Because even though it's not a god roll at the vendor, the pulse is really good. So good, in fact, that I might even wager with Rodeo and Brace Frame instead of Perfect Balance, it might indeed be the greatest pulse in Destiny right now. But alas, I don't have the god roll, so no testing could be done. So no outrageous claims could be made that it is indeed the best. All I can say is that it's great. If you enjoy the slower firing pulse archetype, this thing hits hard, especially at range. It is more punishing. I will say that it's more punishing. You really need to land your shots. Like you cannot afford to miss when you go into a primary fight. After only one or two games with it, I was dominating, especially against hand cannon users at uh, medium to long range. But therein lies the problem at close to medium range. And that's like 95% of the maps in Destiny. Let's be real, dude. The uh, aforementioned pulses are just as good, if not better. The Hawks all the party favor. I would argue they're easier to use with more stability and just as effective, like I said, at close to medium range. But then again, who cares? Which archetype best suits your playstyle? Which of your pulses has the god roll? This is Destiny, dude. Use whatever the hell you'd like. Don't let some random Australian pleb tell you what to do. <laughs> Trust me on that. But seriously, at the very least, um, try this gun out. It's, it's awesome. Number one. 
At last, but not least, my personal favorite of the bunch. In my opinion, it's the most consistent pulse in the game right now. It's silky smooth. The scope is crispy and precise. It highlights enemies like you're a Widowmaker pressing Q. It's the Blind Perdition, aka the effing Trials Pulse Rifle. Don't have the old Hawks or God Roll? Use this. Need more stability than the vendor party favor? Use this. Don't like the slow firing max impact pulses? Use this. You can pick up a beautiful Blind Perdition from one of three areas. Either the end of a Trials match as a random reward, uh, seven wins on your passage, or the Lighthouse Chest itself. It's not too difficult to obtain, so I feel comfortable adding it to the list here. Now here's the secret perk combination to get the most bang for your buck with this gun, okay? I've done a lot of testing with this gun. Here's the best possible combo, in my opinion. Smooth Ballistics, Hand laid stock, hand loaded, and counterbalance. Not small ball, because it doesn't give enough stability and you don't need that extra range. Not high caliber rounds, because you lose too much range and they're just not that great anymore. Now, I used to use CQB ballistics for maximum stability, but I found the range was just a little bit too short. I often couldn't quite finish off guardians um, at range that I felt were within a fair distance. When I added that little bit extra range with smooth ballistics, it felt better immediately. And you don't even notice the stability loss, all right? I know you're tempted to use some other perk combination that you think is better, but don't do it. Or, you know, do whatever, because that's one less god roll perdition that I have to deal with in the crucible. So here's an example clip of this pulse melting someone across the uh, entire waterfall lane on Pantheon. That's kind of the limit of the effective range of this bad boy. Uh, any further out than that, and it's not going to be that effective. But let's be real, it's not often that you need more range than that. This is my personal pick, but uh, what the hell do I know, dude? Literally nothing. Anyway, thanks for watching until the end. How mad are you? Did I get it wrong with every number? Let me know. Give me the feedback. Don't take this list too seriously, but at the same time, try these pulses out. You will not be disappointed. Also, please leave a like to keep my channel alive. That'd be dope. La Mayo. <laughs> I'm the Jazz. God bless. You're super cute. <laughs> I'm out, dude.